Hey, what's going on everyone? Stock Android Tech here. First off, before I get into the the actual video I'm going to be doing about, um, I actually want to say thank you for all the subscribers out there that subscribe to my channel, who's liked my videos and commented on them. I really do appreciate it. It really means a lot that you guys are out there and you're getting new information um, from my videos. And um, I feel very, very honored um, to be making these videos for you. So thank you so much um, for encouraging me to continue doing videos for you guys. It really means a lot. So what I'm going to do today is show you the exact setup for the Samsung Galaxy S8 that you see right here on my desktop. That's including the S8 Weather Widget, the S8 Google Widget, and the S8 icons and the S8 wallpapers. Now, I will leave everything at the bottom of the description so you guys can go check out these items. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply this to your desktop. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Welcome back guys. Okay, so what we're going to do first and apply a wallpaper to the desktop if you're choosing. All you need to do basically in Nova said a Nova Launcher is go directly into your wallpapers and go to apps and themes and go ahead and uh, apply a wallpaper. That way we can begin the process. Now as we get done doing that, we're gonna go directly into the Nova settings. I'm gonna show you exactly how to have the grid size in your app drawer, your desktop, um, the whole nine. So um, I will go slow for you guys. That way you won't get uh, confused on lost and you know whatnot. So the first thing we wanna do is go into desktop. Now we go into desktop grid, you want to make sure that the grid size is set to 6 by 4 okay once you get done doing that click done you want to go back down to icon layout you want to make sure that the icon layout is set to 110 percent make sure also that the label is enabled and right underneath where it says font you want to change it and make sure it's to light and keep the color white but make sure that the shadow and the single line are both enabled now after you get done doing that, uh, sorry I missed one, sorry. On the icon size 110%, yeah I did say that, okay so yeah, uh, icon size set to 110. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to where it says page indicator, Let me get rid of that, sorry about that. Right here where it says page indicator, we want to make sure that it's set to this one right here. And um, as far as add icon to home screen, you can turn that on or you can leave it off. So however, uh, you you know, whatever you like the most. So after we get done doing that, we're going to back out of desktop and we're going to go into app and widgets uh, drawer. So um, go ahead and select the drawer add grid. You want to make sure that this is also set to six by four. Click done when you're done. Now select icon layout. Again, you want to make sure that the icon layout for everything is set to 110%. Make sure that the label is enabled and make sure that the uh, light, I'm sorry, where it says the uh, label font, make sure that's set to a site, uh, light. And um, make sure you change it to the color black or you can choose white. Um, I would prefer white, just, just me. And make sure the shadow and single line are both enabled as well. As you get done doing that, you wanna go uh, all the way down into where it says color and transparency right underneath where it says uh, swipe indicator. Now you want to make sure that the swipe indicator is turned off um, because otherwise if you leave it on it's going to look like a mix between pixel launcher and the S8 launcher and it just wouldn't look right. You do however want to leave the swipe to open enabled so leave that alone but as far as the background transparency you want to have that set to 30%. And then after you get done doing that, you want to go into icon uh, layout, make sure everything's uh, done correctly. And once that is done correctly, just go ahead and back out of there. Now you want to go ahead and go back one more time and you want to go ahead and make sure that you enable the night mode. And we're going to go ahead and go directly into notification badges. Now you have to have Telsa on red badges uh, to work with Nova Launcher. So once you get that done, go ahead and set up your badges. 
After you get done doing that, you want to go directly into your folders. You want to make sure that your folder preview is set to grid, just like this. And you want to make sure that the uh, folder background is set to pixel launcher, okay? Uh, necessarily, you don't have to have that. You can choose whatever else you like, but preferably pixel launcher looks better with this theme. Now, as to animation, um, you want to make sure that the transition animation is set to circle, not zoom. And then last but not least, you want to go into the background of the folders, make sure that's also set to 30%. And with the color, you can set it to white, gray, black, or whatever color you feel that's comfortable. I would prefer white, to be, uh, to be honest. Now go back down to the icon layout. You want to make sure that the icon size is set to also 110%. And you want to make sure that the label is enabled, make sure the font is set into light, go ahead and change the color to white, make sure that you enable shadow and single line as well. After you get done doing, like, doing that, you want to go back out and go directly into look and feel. You want to go ahead and uh, set the icon theme to GSA icons. Once you get done doing that, get back out. And then I'm going to take you back into your home uh, screen. Now the first thing we're going to do, since we did apply already the icon uh, pack for S8, you want to make sure that everything here is correct. Not all the icons are going to be accurate, so you have to go in here manually and change it yourself. And I'm going to give you an example on one uh, right here where it says phone. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to drag it to the edit, click on the uh, icon, and then I'm going to select the GSA icons because this is the icon I'm looking for for this theme. Now. Um, it's not very hard to find these icons you just have to go through here they're not set at uh, alphabetical order it's just random so you have to pay attention when you're scrolling down looking for the icon that you're looking for make sure you get it and don't miss it otherwise it's going to be like a back and forth scenario so once you go ahead and you find your icons go ahead and click on that click done and you can just drag it down to the dock now i'm on my tablet so technically i don't have sms built in except for hangout so i'm just going to use hangout right now and pretend that it's my sms uh, Usually it's supposed to be yellow, but again, it's Google Hangouts. So yeah, now I'm gonna go back up and look for uh, Chrome. Now you have one or two options when it comes to Chrome. You can have Chrome uh, set as the S8, um, here I'll show you. You can have it set as the S8 theme logo, or you can have it set to default. And what I mean by default is if, you, if you're familiar with the S8 icons, um, if you look at Google Chrome, you notice that Google Chrome looks like it's inside of an oval shaped uh, folder by itself. You necessarily don't have to have that. If you want the full look of the S8, then by all means, here you go. So here is actually the web browser for the S8 look theme. Go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna drag it and put it directly in the middle. And then we're gonna go ahead and find the Play Store and we're gonna drag it down next to the internet. And then last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and click on the camera and bring it down next to the Play Store. Now, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go into Super Widget. So you wanna go all the way down and look for Super Widget. You wanna make sure that you're looking for the size two by three. Now, uh, make sure you bring it all the way down to the top so it can't go anywhere else and leave it be just like this don't not do not resize or anything like that until you get done editing this widget now uh, what you want to do is go ahead and press tap to start and then you want to look for trident go ahead and click on trident and we're going to be looking for the s8 weather widget which is not very far down it's right here where it says s8 weather we're going to go ahead and click on that and then what we're going to do is go all the way down to um you see this right here where it says scaling. Now um, you want to change the actual scaling of this widget and the reason why I say you have to do this is because of the fact that if you don't do it right the first time then it's, tar it's, it's just gonna mess up uh, entirely. So uh, what I'm about to do right now is gonna be very complicated at first but I'm gonna take my time going through this. I'm gonna make sure you guys are following along um, and you will see what I'm talking about uh, towards the end of the video and then you're gonna be like yeah you were right blah 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 so now that we got our 2x3 widget on the home screen we selected Zuper widget in Trident and now that we got our weather widget set up we're gonna change the Q and what I mean by that is it's this Q right here if you take a close look um, onto the widget 
you'll see the temperature you'll see the cloud you'll see the GPS the city and the state and it'll tell you exactly when it's been updated um, so um, we're gonna go ahead and edit this to 75 on the scaling so after you get done doing this just go ahead and uh, back out gonna go directly into the uh, widgets you want to go down to super widget you want to look where it says four by one go ahead and drag that right underneath the widget um, until you can't go any further now leave it the size as it is right now uh, because we're gonna have to do some editing inside this application in order to get the fittings correctly uh, written down um, so go ahead and click on this and we're gonna go back into Trident now you guys gotta really pay attention to what I'm about to do because you might get uh, mixed up where it says S8 weather 2 and 3 you don't want to mess with those you want to mess with the only one that says S8 uh, search bar so go ahead and click on that search bar and we're gonna make some valid changes to this we're gonna I know right now it might look kind of corny it may not look like it's gonna fit or look right on desktop but believe me when I say that as we get done doing this it's gonna look fabulous so the first thing we want to do again four by four by one by zooper if you guys are not here yet you want to make sure that you don't stretch it out you don't size it just leave it the way it is as soon as you get done adding it to your desktop now you want to go into layout for right now and you want to select bitmap the reason why I say that is because we want to mess with the Google logo first and then we're going to move over to the microphone and we're going to go you know uh, one step at a time so you guys won't get confused on what I'm doing now what we're going to do here is go all the way down and then we're going to enter 11 right where it says scaling so you want to go down to 11 now manually you might have to do this it's not a big deal so just make sure you're highlighting uh right here where it says scaling you want to go ahead and set it at 11 hit done uh one more time and then you're good so if you can see right now that the google logo um pretty much looks uh back to normal uh, in some aspect now what we're going to do is go back one more time and we're going to go into the bitmap microphone and now when we go into the bitmap microphone we're going to go ahead and set the uh, scale up to 10 so in order to uh, actually do this is you want to right here where it says scaling go back down to 10 and as you can see that the microphone is set ready to go it's shrank down enough to where it doesn't look corny and yeah so we're going to go back one and we're going to go directly into rect now when we go into rect we want to make sure that the height is set to 45 okay so it's already set to 50 so it's not that bad let's go ahead and set it to 45 like so and uh, if you look at the widget right now you can see that with all the minor changes that we have pretty much uh, applied to the widget it, it looks pretty cool now we're going to go into color and we're going to get give it a, a semi transparency look so about right here would actually do it go ahead and click on that color and then hit back hit back one more time and there you go this is the actual oh no oh there it goes okay so yeah this is the actual google widget uh s8 um it looks good i'm sorry to say i missed tongue to tied today sorry about that but this is the actual s8 weather widget the actual s8 uh, google widget the icon pack the wallpaper so you want to go ahead and resize it right now you can if it's not sized up and uh, as far as the weather widget if you want to go ahead and you know resize it you can and um, don't forget guys that when using Nova Launcher Prime it has that function to double tap so you can turn off your device that's pretty much how I set mine up but overall I have to say this theme looks really really good um, and it's the best one yet that I've done so if you guys did like this video hit that like button don't forget to subscribe again thank you for 200 and plus subscribers thank you so much for encouraging me to continue doing videos for you guys if you guys have any requests on what kind of video you think I should try out, let me know. Leave your comments at the bottom. And um, until then, guys, I will catch you all on the next video. Peace.